There's a push to protect some of Green Bay's oldest buildings. More than a dozen of them are located downtown. Some want to ensure those buildings will stay there as long as they are in the area. Fox 11's Kristen Crowley brings us more. Green Bay's Bellin Building has a lot of history in its nearly 100-year-old walls. It was considered one of the first, uh, the first quote-unquote skyscraper north of Milwaukee. So it's one of the um, first buildings that went above three stories. History that owner Steve Schneider says was almost lost decades ago. And this building was on the demolition list if you uh, go back to the archives in the uh, 1970s, 80s. In that time, many older buildings in Green Bay were torn down to make way for new structures, and some want to ensure that won't happen again. With several redevelopment projects coming to the downtown area, the Historic Preservation Commission says it realized many of these older buildings aren't protected. So the commission came up with a list of 24 properties it recommended the city council should deem historic. So many have been demolished over the years for the mall, the mall parking lot, etc. Uh, that was our way of protecting those. That list includes the downtown YMCA, the former Port Plaza Towers, and the Bellin Building. If made historic, the city could prevent those buildings from being torn down. Also, the property owners would need special permission before renovating the building. But some say not all 24 properties fit the bill. We're looking forward to talking to them about uh, some buildings that they feel are, are necessary to save in regard to our plans as far as uh, uh, the redevelopment itself. Um, but um, if, this, if the building has historical value, we definitely look forward to working with them on, on those projects. The Redevelopment Authority Vice Chair Gary Delvo says the Days Inn is one property that doesn't belong on the list. The final decision on what should be considered historic is up to the City Council. In Green Bay, Kristen Crowley, Fox 11 News. And the City Council will review the list at its meeting on Tuesday.